Anyway, let's look at the banned foods uh, video. Something Wendover made a video on the U.S. military taking an L. Nestle drumstick, a sweet treat that we've all enjoyed. Unless you live in one of these countries. You see, the thing is, this is full of chemicals that are also used to make this a yoga mat. But I'm still allowed to eat it, thanks to the FDA. I love this. For the next 24 hours, I'm going to be exploring banned American foods that you won't find in other countries. I do think drive throughs in general should be banned because the food that we have access to so easily is just disgusting. I will say right now, drive throughs kill more people than drive-bys. There, I said it. It's not even a controversial take. That's like, yeah, no, literally. I mean, yeah. Fast food absolutely kills more people than fucking drive-bys do. What the fuck? <laughs> yes. 100%. Tastes like disposable income. Our first banned substance of the day is actually going to be Coffee Mate, which is banned. For the record, I want to point something out here. Having an FDA is objectively good. This video in and of itself, I don't know if it's critical of the FDA uh, uh, because it even exists. Uh, I assume it's critical of the FDA because it's not doing the job that the FDA is supposed to do that other countries' FDAs are doing. Uh, you know what I mean? So just understand that. Because, like, the notion that these foods, these substances are banned elsewhere but not banned in America implies that the FDA is not doing a good job here that other countries are doing. And in Austria, Hungary, and other Scandinavian countries for its hydrogenated oils. And I don't know about you, but it looks slightly phallic. It makes you want to put it in things, <laughs> like my coffee. I feel like just like the bedside Nutella, this is going to take some practice to perfect the right ratios here, but we're going to, we're going to try. We're going to try. Ooh, I got the hazelnut flavor, my second favorite nut. 35 cows per tablespoon, <laughs> that will get you pretty quick. It's awful. Oh my God. If I close my eyes, for one, I, I don't see anything, but why is it really banned, man? To accompany my coffee, we are going to be having some Twinkies America's Biscotti, about as nutrient dense as a kitchen sponge, and I bet the manufacturing process is pretty similar too, I bet. <laughs> this is banned in many countries for having yellow five, which is the yellow dye that makes the cake yellow. I love the way you finger my box, William. I've been such a bad twink. So I deserve it. I've had many cream-filled cannons in my childhood, but I've never had a Twinkie, so you're gonna see me have my first. And my expectations are quite high. Wait, what? What? These are freaking small as hell. I, I know it's the vanilla flavor. But I thought they'd be bigger. Do they even carry chocolate? That has to be, at best, average size of three inches. The thing that is getting me excited is that there is three insertion holes. Wow. It feels a little bit like something that you should not be eating. Like these are the foods that we need vaccines for. But I will say the best foods are shaped for the perfect insertion into the mouth. Damn, yo. Oh my God. I can totally see why kids are addicted to these things. Like if my mom gave me these, I would have behaved more. I would have been a good son and I would have been really, really fat. <laughs> oh. Come to your senses for a second. If you eat that, you're gonna be up 200,000 calories and then you're gonna die of a heart attack. So good I might even enjoy another. I'm pretty sure some dude out there lost a lot of weight on just eating Twinkies. <laughs> so if you think they're bad for you, think again. I mean, you can... The Twinkie weight loss thing is, of course, the same principle. It's calories in, calories out. Of course you can lose weight only eating Twinkies. You just can't... You know, you just can't eat more Twinkies. Uh, what is it? He's jacked. It's a joke. No, I, I mean, no, literally, if you ate, if you ate like, you know, 10 Twinkies a day and that's all you ate, it's a very unhealthy diet, but you'll still lose weight. The last food is actually going to be a U.S. apple. Look at this little polar bear here. 
he's all cute, but he's gonna low key kill you because there's a compound in the apple that prevents the apple from turning brown. This is banned throughout the entire European what? Union. So the US is like, how do you like them apples? And the EU's like, not at all. I didn't know that, what the fuck? Today's breakfast is gonna look like my kids failed Father's Day breakfast in bed because we were having- Oh, this guy's a fitness YouTuber. Holy shit, that, that makes sense. Look at how fucking jacked he is. He's got the Gymshark uh, skin tight uh, dry fit on. Uh, that makes so much sense now. I was like, wondering why he was talking so much about calories and shit. Some cereal and what goes better with the carbs than carbs? And we're gonna have some pop tarts. You know what? I'm starting to think that the EU wanted to ban great pumps because there's so many things today that are carb heavy. They're just not allowed over there. It's just rude. Do you guys know it's spelled like that? F R O O T, not fruit. I was, I was mind blown. We got ourselves two bowls. It's like a plate, but deep. And one of them, we're gonna add some Fruit Loops. I know a lot of you guys are probably surprised to see this because there's a lot of colors to excite your kids. It's the color of the rainbow, and hey, that can't be bad. But it's full of really bad dyes that are banned in tons of countries. So LSC might be the better rainbow for you, and and a little less calories. The next cereal is gonna be Frosted Flakes. They're great. So these are banned in Japan and the European Union because there's flavor enhancers in here, which I totally believe because that's why we call it the dandruff of angels. One of my favorite cereals of all time, but you gotta eat them fast because they get pretty damn soggy. Let's test it dry and then we'll get wet. You learn a lot that way. I'm just discovering it tastes nothing like fruit. You never had a fruit loop? That is the sweetest cereal that I've ever knew. That is so like 20% more sweet than Fruit Loops. Fun fact, U.S. milk is actually banned in a lot of places, but it does not mean you can't still milk a U.S. nut. And add some almond milk. Superset. You know, I traded in for a different kind of frosting years ago. That's always nice to go back to my childhood roots. At the grocery store yesterday. Guys, I'm beginning to feel like this man is gay. I think this man might be gay. I had quite the Sophie's Choice moment because I never really realized how many different flavors of Pop-Tarts that there are. I'm always a fruity guy, but I decided to go with the s'mores flavor. Banned everywhere for tons of bad chemicals and dyes. Do you guys like your Pop-Tarts warm or cold? I like it nice, warm, and moist. It makes it feel like it wants me back, you know what I mean? Not all of these things are harmful. They're just banned. This is pseudoscience bullshit. I mean. I mean. There's a lot in there. This your radar is off. Wait, really? No, there's a lot of it. That's just like understandably banned in my opinion. Chatter's kind of right. Chatter's not wrong. There are some things that uh, there are some things that other countries ban um, that is only banned due to I guess I don't know one reason or the other. Uh, overall, uh, overall fears from like GMOs and whatnot. But having said that. Like yellow five and shit like that is is not great for you, as far as I understand. Each bite of this just takes me through an emotional journey. <laughs> it's pretty crazy to me that these foods that are so readily available to a lot of kids in North America are banned elsewhere in the world. The FDA allows it, and I believe it's all for the sake of money. They have Frosties in the UK? No, they have, like, they have Mountain Dew in the UK, for example, but yellow five is banned. So they just use different uh, compounds. They will use different shit. They're just made differently. It's the, it's not the same product. It doesn't say, taste the same. I love this life of moral corruption. I was searching what band sports can I try? And there was dog fighting and cock fighting, which I mean, I don't think I could be doing that. So we went to movies and it turns out 300 is banned in Iran for its portrayal of the Persian army. So we're gonna be doing the 300 workout today. I'm looking at it. 
It looks tough, but all good things hurt sometimes, especially when it's your first time. It's a timed workout, one circuit through, the workout's on the screen right now. And if this is like my experience watching the film, I should be finished pretty quick. You're gonna be drinking yellow Gatorade throughout, so yellow Gatorade's also banned in some countries for a yellow dye. Yellow Gatorade is the worst flavor. If I was a football coach, I'd rather forfeit than get a shower of this if I won. Time starts now, 25 pull up. He's not gay, Chad. I was baited yesterday. Oh, he's not gay? He's just making a lot of references to sucking and fucking dudes. He's just Canadian. Respect. can't tell me someone who makes gym content is not gay okay as you know hasanabi rule rule number one the more you go to the gym the gayer you are everybody knows this minutes 16 seconds i'm pretty happy with that because i saw in the article one of the actors in the movie but like 18 minutes and six seconds or something like that so i beat that that's tough try this workout out and let me know in the comments what you guys get just don't get 14 minutes and 16 seconds post workout time Post workout time, everybody. So we're going to be having some stovetop stuffing. So this is banned in a lot of countries because there's a preservative in here that impairs blood clotting. So if you think about it, it's technically an anti-aphrodisiac. So we're going to add this in here. I mean, in a, in a package like this, you know, you, you just know it can't be good. It looks like an MRE. To go along with that, we're going to be having, which I think a lot of you guys are going to be surprised about, is rotisserie. Okay. What? Whoa. Chill. Stop. Hold up, did not know that. That's weird. Before we get to that, what I was going to say is, you know, uh, on the one hand, you know, blood clotting. On the other hand, stuffing is pretty fucking good. I would take the dive at least for one day out of the year or for one week out of the year, I guess, Thanksgiving. Um, that's all I'm going to say. Chicken. So this is banned. U.S. chicken is banned in all of Europe. So I guess you can say it's on the on the no-fly list. That's because it is soaked in chlorine before it goes to market, which is kind of gross. I don't even like to swim in a chlorine pool. I don't want to be chlorine chicken. What? But I'm gonna eat it today for the video. Wait, what? I just lunch lady that. <laughs> I'm gonna call this meal the Lindsay Lohan because on the surface, it looks wholesome AF, but it's full of banned substances. So like a lot of things, to enjoy it, we're gonna pull the skin back. You know what, guys? If my chicken is gonna be sketchy, full of chemicals, I want people to question my natty status, not my vital signs, you know what I mean? But I love a rotisserie chicken. The smell of it just makes me want to twerk. Dude, this is devastating. I did not know that the rotisserie chickens that I enjoy every single fucking day, pretty much. Are, are showered with chlorine before they... What the fuck? This is terrifying. If it tastes this good, clot my blood, man. This is probably also the whitest meal I think I've ever seen. I just need someone else here to comment on its spiciness to round it out. On the side for dessert, we got ourselves some Jello. I love Jello. It reminds me of hospitalization. When I poke, he jiggles. This is banned for having red 40. So between the name and the jiggle, I'm thinking about football and tight ends. It tastes so artificial that I don't even understand why people buy it. It makes you wonder if Walden Farms is on the, uh, the payroll for the FDA, something under the table going on. This is cornbread stuffing, which is very confusing, but 
Like I've always learned, if you're confused about something, just put it in your mouth. Stuffing is by far the best thing on a Thanksgiving plate. Comment down below, what's your favorite thing on a Thanksgiving plate? Well, long-term symptoms of sustained chlorine consumption in men from ages 20 to 30 is progressive microcephaly. Ha ha, really funny. Real funny. Plate. At the grocery store right now, Katie's coming over because we're gonna be having a banned food date night. Ooh. We gotta grab something. You know when they say farm to table? This is never what they mean. Farm salmon is actually banned in a lot of countries because they feed the fish like chemicals and a bunch of bullshit. Compete them in small cages, just not very ethical, so not allowed. Thank you very much. Thank you. You too. Do the do, do the hospital bills. So there's something in here called bromine, which has a number of health problems, including memory loss which is pretty crazy. This is a gamer drink and you can lose your memory. That's not good for them. What? Not good for them at all. Ritz crackers. Thank you. You too. Do the do, do the hospital bills. So there's something in here called bromine, which has a number of health problems, including memory loss. <laughs> Someone in the just said, joke's on him. I already forgot what he said. Me too, man. Me too. Which is pretty crazy. This is a gamer drink, and you can lose your memory. That's not good for them. Not good for them at all. Ritz crackers, perfect for a penitentiary cheese board. Apparently, the European Union, Australia, and Japan have all banned powdered mashed potatoes. And I, I could probably see why, but dinner. Salmon and mashed potatoes? Kind of weird. Maraschino cherries, a cherry with a reliable pop. Say it with me, guys. Red 40. <laughs> oh, that's good. Shit. Oh, my God. That just. It's no longer a Mountain Dew. It was withdrawn in 1970. PepsiCo to stop adding BVO to Gatorade and other products. Twenty twenty. No longer uses BVO in the mainline beverages, but the original BVO containing formula is still sometimes sold as a lesser distributed. Mountain Dew throwback beverage. Oh my God. When you get the fucking Mountain Dew throwback one, you actually are still getting the, f bro. They're like, Hey, Hey brother, we decided we're going to sell you the throwback beverage, which makes you, you know, which makes you lose your memory. It's fucking sick. Oh my God. <laughs> Their slogan. Remember this? Probably not. Yep. I just turned the mashed potatoes before my very own eyes. Oh, she dumb thick. Okay, you come. I don't want to. It's laced with love. You might feel a little dizzy in a couple minutes. I feel like if you ordered this at a bar, this is a great way to get your ID cut up. What? What? <laughs> well, yeah, who's ordering Mountain Dew at the club? You don't like it? It's not great. Why? It doesn't have much flavor. I feel like you watered it down. With vodka. Mm -hmm. You know there's something in it that causes loss of memory, so you, you'll forget that you ever had it until you drink it. You like that? 
Go have a seat. I'm gonna bring you your meal, okay? Ew. Mashed potatoes should not fall like that. He's not making. It's it's a double entendre. You're supposed to think he's making like a roofy joke, but he's talking about bromide. Brominated water or vegetable oil. That's the joke, chat. Look at Play Doh. All right. Girl. No, there were people who literally didn't understand it. I had to describe the joke. Mm. You might be thinking we're at a restaurant right now. Yeah. Okay. But I can show you we're not. So we got something fishy covered in crackers. I'd make a joke, but I don't want to make fun of someone's mom. <laughs> or. What? On the side, we have ourselves some powdered mashed potatoes. Yeah. What? You said it? No. It's not the time. It's not the time. What the fuck was that? That's fucking terrifying. Yeah. You said it? No. It's not the time. It's not the time. That tastes like it was not intended for me. They taste like potato. What? I'm tasting potato. It does not at all. You know what? Katie knows very well that all these foods can shorten her lifespan, but she's doing it for my video. You people are so fucking annoying. They're like, go back, bro. It was paused when I paused it and I pointed to it. Like, if you still missed it, I don't know what to tell you. Like, sorry, fucking sucks to suck. Maybe drink a little bit more Mountain Dew and forget about it, okay? Oh, that's like some Romeo and Juliet shit right there. That's true love. Oh. The hell is that? You okay? <laughs> Unsure. Yeah. No, it's the Mountain Dew. It's gone to my head. Do you drink? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't like that at all. No. I feel like the the reason for powdered mashed potatoes' success is butter and emotional neglect. People are just lazy, man. Mm -hmm. And also, who the hell eats mashed potatoes? Like, I feel like mashed potatoes is like a family gathering food. Like, who makes mashed potatoes for like for two? Unless it's box. We but... might be offending people. What? Right. Before I take a bite. It doesn't taste immediately morally wrong in my mouth. Why would it? Because it's Ritz cracker crusted salmon. So you know the salmon? They're like fed like chemicals and stuff and they're like, they're, they grow up in the, this big cage. Like they're all like very crammed together. Oh, poor yeah. salmon. I was gonna do fish fart. Um, probably. You think so? Two Apparently Ritz mm. crackers contain high levels of sodium hydrogenated cottonseed oil. The FDA has actually deemed these types of oils to be not generally safe. But then, yeah, it's still available. Here we are. Yeah. Can you just appreciate the fact that I actually, I executed that salmon perfectly, like the pinkness inside there? Yeah, she's pink. Yeah. You like it when it's pink. What do I always say? You like your oh. pink? <laughs> Drop, you cannot say that. What are you doing? You're, don't embarrass the family right now. Oh my girl's doing you okay. Oh. So there's a thickening agent in here, which makes it banned, but I see that's kind of like a selling point. Cause we like our shit thick. Okay, thick. Salute. So I see a thing of beauty right here. My fiance and this drumstick. Beautiful. I need to. Okay. One bite it. I'm not doing that. You won't do it. Trust me, I want to, but I'm not doing it. You've shown me before. The caramel in the middle. It's just vanilla, you spoiled brat. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try it in your mouth. Okay, don't just dart it in my mouth. I don't know where it was. I know right here. Patrick? <laughs> oh. Okay. Like a little dramatic. My throat has not faced this much abuse since you got promoted in the NBA head office. Do you have anything last words you need to say? Bye friends. Be nice to one another. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Good video. By Will Tenny's son.